In this video, I will walk you through a basic HTML document structure. This is an illustration of a basic HTML document structure. So I'm going to walk you through the structure from top to bottom. I'll start with the doc type. The doc type is what is called a declaration. It must be the very first thing in your HTML document before the HTML tag. The doc type declaration is not an HTML tag. It is an instruction to the web browser about what version of HTML the page is written in. It lets the web browser interpret the HTML document as a web page. You always have to add the doc type declaration to the very top of your document. It's the first thing you should do so the web browser knows what type of document to expect and then they can render the correct document. I have written the doc type in uppercase but it is not case sensitive so you can also write it in lowercase. So in the illustration here I'm saying doc type space HTML. So I'm basically saying the document type is an HTML document. So you write the way you write the doc type, you do the less than sign, exclamation mark, doc type, and then HTML, and then a greater than sign. Next, we have the HTML element. So we've got the opening HTML element and the closing HTML element. The closing element is identified with the forward slash before the tag is closed. The HTML element wraps all the content on the entire page and it is sometimes known as the root element. Next, we've got the head element which contains all the meta information about the document. Meta basically refers to information about information. So it's micro information about information. The head element acts as a container for all the stuff you want to include on the HTML page. So whatever content is enclosed in the head between the head element isn't the content that is visible when someone visits your web page. So within the head element you can add tags like the meta car set, also the page title, you can also include that in there. What is a meta car set? The meta car set basically has a meta car set. The meta car set basically has a value of UTF-8, which is the attribute. This element basically is used to set the character of your document. So the standard is a UTF-8, which includes most characters from the vast majority of human written languages. So when you have your meta car set set to UTF-8, it essentially means that it can handle any textual content you might put on it. The title element is used to set the title of your page, which is the title that appears in the web browser tab. So when the page actually loads, it will have a tag.
ta a title on the web browser this is the title you would have set within the document so that will get displayed and people can bookmark that and also save that as a favorite next we have the body element the body element actually contains the visual content of the page so when you visit a website the actual content you can see is the content that is wrapped between the body tag which is anything between the opening and closing body tag is the visible content that is displayed on the web page so it contains all the content that you want to show to the web user or visitor when they visit your page whether that is text images videos games playable audio tracks or whatever content you have you have to place it between the body element for the visitor to see it inside the body element i have got some other nested element i've got a h1 tag the h1 element basically is used for heading tag you can use that if you want to create a heading and usually there are h1 to h6 h1 being the largest we've got the p which stands for paragraph you use that to add paragraph to a web page next we've got the img which is an image tag if you want to add images to your web page you use the img tag the img is what is known as a self closing tag it doesn't have a closing tag inside the img tag you have to specify a couple of attributes the first attribute is called the SROC or the source so basically if you're adding an image you need to use the source attribute to specify where the image is going to be referenced from and every attribute you assign a value using the equals to and you enclose the values in quotes so in my example it's going to be referenced from and every attribute you assign a value using the equals to and you enclose the values in quotes so in my example here I've said the image is located in my images folder and the name of the image is called poppy.jpg next I've got another attribute called alt this is called the alternate text and you have to give it a value I've given it a value of cute poppy image basically what that does if for any reason the image that is meant to be on this page does not get displayed the alternate text will display the text instead so the text will advise visitors that there was an image here of maybe a cute poppy or whatever but basically you have to give a descriptive text mm -hmm that will show up if anything happens to the image for example if the image is moved or not positioned properly or for some reason or the other it doesn't display then the alternate text gets displayed instead there are so many html elements i've only just used a tiny bit here in this illustration but as you continue to get more knowledgeable in HTML you begin to get more exposed to more HTML elements so that's it for this video on the basic HTML document structure thank you and bye